G'day guys, my name is Pete, I'm a Clash Royale player based in Australia, and this is my first YouTube video. I thought I'd get into YouTube, uh, been pushing pretty hard on this game, this is my profile, the season has just reset now, and you can see we're down to 5300 trophies approximately. Um, I thought it'd be a good idea to get into YouTube, just to help and create a bit of a community discussion around, you know, playing certain decks, helping people out with what decks I play, uh, general strategies, and, um, and playing decks that people would request me to play, so by all means guys, if you have any questions, any comments, please leave them down in the comments below. I'm just going through a few things that I want to collect now and then we'll get uh, started away with the first video. So guys, I'm going to push on ladder for the first time. Obviously the season just reset a few minutes ago. Uh, it's pretty cool they've got a Mega Knight. Uh, and then, but please let me know if you prefer having any tournaments played or any challenges played, whatever you think is, um, I guess, most beneficial to your gameplay. If there's a particular deck you'd like me to run, as I said, please let me know and I'll, I'll put that in one of the next videos coming forward. I'll show you what I am running uh, for this game. And I will be playing, <clears throat> pardon me, a graveyard deck I'm sure you're all probably familiar with. It's a meta deck at the moment. I like running the one with Bomber compared to the one that uses Tombstone, as well as the other one that uses Barbarian Hut. I feel that in the current meta, the Bomb Tower has a really, really good advantage against Golems, E-Golems, and then on the surprise factor, it's really, really good against Balloon, once you have an activated King Tower with your Tornado. If you use Bomb Tower without any supporting troops on the Balloon's end, you can pretty much counter a Balloon. Um... For a positive one elixir trade providing that it's placed in the right spot so we're going to jump into our first match guys collect my bonus love this part of the season you get a whole bunch of cash it's really good fun and uh here we go guys going to our first battle so a person ruin from a clan that i can't pronounce wish him good luck what do you guys think of the new arena looks pretty cool to me so with this deck, guys, I don't like wasting a whole bunch of elixir unless I know exactly what the person is playing. And then from there, I'll go for a, um, a specific push to help counteract that. So with this here, guys, I'm going to try and go for a King Tower activation. Wait for it to get a hit off on a tower, and we pull it across. You'll see, depending on um, if he is running Lava Loon, which definitely looks like it at the moment, you'll see the benefits of how this Bomb Tower actually works against that. It is going to be a tricky matchup if he does have... Um, Lightning, that's going to be the tricky thing, but we'll see how we go. He's going for a light defense. I'm glad he played a minor, so that way we're getting a bit more even elixir spread. There we go. It's a pretty decent first push, guys. So we'll give him the well played because he defended it quite nicely. And we'll go for an Ice Wizard just here. There's the Lava, the lava Hound, sorry, in the back. And he's going to start putting a big push. So because we went a little bit aggressive uh, with the graveyard and knowing exactly what it was going to play, we'll play a little bit more defensive now, start cycling a Baby Dragon. If he does happen to have a lightning spell, then we are in a bit more trouble. So I'm going to tornado all of this together here just to try and get a bit of damage on that Mega Minion because you do not want to take out the Baby Dragon so early. I'm going to go for a Poison here because that's going to pop. And he's going to be going for that play there. It'll take out all the supporting troops. So we play our Knight here. We've taken a bit of damage, guys, but overall pretty happy with that. We still have the damage lead. And you can see just how the Bomb Tower worked. Even though he had supporting Mega Minion and a Lava Hound, we'll manage able to, to take out the uh, to take out the Balloon, sorry. So quite happy. I'm going to anticipate a Guards he's going to play very soon. I wouldn't expect him to take a full Knight to the Tower. There it is. And once we see the Guards, we're going to go for a Graveyard on the other, other side. Which is good. I'm really glad that we baited out that Mega Minion. It's probably one of the hardest cards for us to counter in this particular variation. I'm going to let those guards go. One or two stabs is okay. And that's very close to tower, if not tower gone. So very happy with that play. We're going to go here with a Baby Dragon in the back. Leaked a little bit of Elixir, but that's okay. Again, we've got to be mindful if he does have Lightning. I do have a feeling that he does, so I am pretty, pretty mindful of that. Happy with that play. Again, we're going to go for a Poison. And we're going to Tornado everything towards a Bomb Tower. I'm going to go for an Ice Whiz. Oh, it's a bit of a bad placement, but worked out okay. I'm going to go back to a Baby Dragon. To finish off these supporting troops here. We can anticipate that to come through. Unlucky on the catch. I thought we may have got it, but that's okay. 17 seconds. Go for another Bomb Tower. Not the best placement, but you're just trying to get um the defense happening here. Just to prevent it from getting anywhere near the tower. So I'm going to Tornado all of this back. And give him the wall play. And good luck. So that's how I play this deck against a Lava Loon player. Pretty fortunate that he was running uh, the Fireball variation, which we can counter pretty nicely, even though he does have Zap. So 
is who he went up against. Ruin, um, pretty good player, 6,800, best season. He's, oh no, there you go, he's been to um, Ultimate Champion, so 7,200 trophies. Definitely a good player, been playing for two years. So there we go, guys. I'm going to leave this match up and this video here just for now because I've had some issues with my phone when it comes to recording, so I do apologize that it is a little bit short. I will record another match up and go live again um, and, and upload that again later on today. I just wanted to make sure that I do get one video out there first because, as I said, it was um it was not working for me earlier on today. So I hope you guys have a really, really good day. Thank you for tuning in and watching this video. If you have any questions around how I run this deck or any cards that you can substitute into particular positions, please let me know. One variation is the Musketeer instead of Ice Wizard and Skeletons instead of Tornado. Um, but yeah, depending on what your card levels are, I play this deck pretty patient. It's all about building a counter push, but I don't like wasting Elixir at the start of the match. So as you saw before, I'll cycle an Ice Wiz or I'll cycle a, a Barbarian Barrel. I always try and keep one air counter troop in my hand unless I'm going up against a matchup that I immediately know. So for example, I cycle an Ice Wizard in the back and he goes for, or he or she goes for a Golem. At that exact point, as soon as I see a Golem played at the back for the first matchup or the first play of the match, I'll push opposite lane with whatever card I have and Graveyard. So that's the one exception that I normally have in keeping an air counter card in my, in my hand or in rotation. Guys, if you have any other questions, please drop them in the comments. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching this video. And if you have uh, any other questions, as I said, please drop them below. And please uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and yeah, thank you. Have a great day.